In this video, I'll be going over the solution to Not All Flavors from February Lunchtime 2020. So let's look at a sample. What you want here is that you want to find, given an array and k, you want to find the maximum subarray such that out of one of the k uh, types of flavors, one of them does not occur. So for example, in this array, this subarray works because the type 2 does not occur. But then, this subarray doesn't work because all of the two flavors occur in it. So in fact, the answer for this subarray, for this array, is 3 because it's the length, the maximum length of a subarray we can get without having both flavors. And then for this case over here, if we choose the subarray, since it doesn't contain all three flavors, it's missing flavor two. So that means the subarray works. And then, but then we can check that the subarrays of length greater than three don't work. So the answer to this array is also three. Our algorithm will basically iterate over the right index r of the subarray and then we'll iterate starting from zero and then while we iterate we'll calculate the maximum answer for all of subarrays and ending at r so what i mean is if r is zero one two three four five then for r equals to zero the maximum length ending at this index is just one because we can only have this subarray and the maximum length for r equals to 1 is 2 because we can have this subarray. And for r equals to 2, we can have this subarray, which has length 2. Note that we can't have this subarray because it will contain all three flavors. And then for r equals to 3, where our maximum is 2. And then for r equals to 4, the maximum is 3. And then for r equals to 5, the maximum is 2. And then, to, in order to find the answer, we just calculate the maximum of the answers for each possible R. So in this case, the maximum is 3, so the answer for this array is 3. And then what we will do is, in order to make, in order to uh, calculate the answer efficiently, we'll calculate in a uh, array called last. So it, while we iterate, we will update last and last of one will basically store the last time the value one occurred. So if, so starting from r equals to zero, the last time one occurred is just at index zero. So it's zero for these three indexes. And then for r equals to 3, the last time 1 occurred is at this index 3. So for these uh, values, last of 1 will be equal to 3. And then for last of 2, it's basically defined in the same way, the last time 2 appeared. So for the first index, 2 has not appeared yet, so we'll set it to negative 1. Then after this, 2 has appeared, so it will be 1. And it will be 1 for all of these indexes. And then after we find the next 2, our last of 2 will be updated to 5. And the similar, similar thing happens, uh, last of 3 is defined similar, similarly, so basically the last time 3 appears. Okay. And then, using the last array, we can calculate the answer for a certain r with this expression. So answer of r is equal to r minus the minimum of all of the last values. So this expression gives the answer because we know that we can take the subarray from the minimum of the last values plus 1 all the way to r, and the length of this subarray 
is equal to this. So let's see uh, how this uh, formula works. So when r is equal to 4, last of 1 points to 3, last of 2 points to 1, and then last of 3 points to 4. So if we choose the subarray, the if we choose the left index of the subarray to be less than or equal to the minimum of last, that means that L will be smaller than all of the last values, which means that L, which means that the subarray will contain all k values, which uh, is invalid. So we want to make sure that L is greater than the minimum of the last values. If we take the minimum of last plus one, we can make sure that there is at least one type which we did not include. In this case, if we take the minimum of last plus one, and the minimum of last is this, so if we take it plus one, and that means we'll take this subarray. And this subarray will basically, uh, this subarray doesn't include one of the values, which is two. And so we don't include the value which, the, the value with the minimum last value. So, which is why this subarray will always work. So in order to calculate the answer efficiently, we need to use a data structure to update and query the minimum last value in O of log n time. And in uh, C++, you can use a set as this data structure. So now I will explain my code. So First, we just input all the numbers, and then we use the map to keep track of the last, uh, to keep track of the last values. And then if the size of last is smaller than k, then that means that not, that means that some value doesn't appear at all in the array. So that means the entire array works. So we'll just uh, output n. And Otherwise, we'll use our set to query the minimum value of last. Last, so we'll put all of the values of last into the set, and then we'll fix that. We'll iterate over the right end of the array. So the first thing we need to do is we should update the value of last of a of i, and also, we should update the set which contains all of the last values. So we remove the last value from the set, and then we update the last value, and then we add the last value into the set again. And then in order to find the maximum subarray, we just use the formula that I uh, described earlier. So we take uh, the right index minus the minimum value inside uh, the minimum value of last, which we can find using from the beginning of, of s. And then we take the maximum of this with our current answer in order to find the total answer. And this is basically it for the solution. If this was helpful, then be sure to like and subscribe.